Hi, welcome to Tiger and Cat channel. Please do remember to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. Hi, I am Madam Kong. This is the fourth video for Ionic Equilibrium. We are going to discuss about salt. Salt hydrolysis. What is salt hydrolysis? So hydrolysis is the reaction of N ion means negative ion or a cation positive ion of salt or both with water. A salt is an ionic compound that is formed when acid red with base. The general equation of the formation of salt normally we use the neutralization reaction. So for example, for this salt, sodium ethanol is formed from ethanol acid react with sodium hydroxide. Most of the salts are completely or 100% ionized in water. So, for example, the sodium ethanoid salt, okay, dissociate 100%. That's why one way arrow from the cation, Na positive, and then the N ion, CH3COO negative ethanoid ion. There are three types of salt, namely neutral salt, acidic salt, and basic salt. Depend on the type of solution from when salts are hydrolyzed. Salt are strong electrolytes that are completely dissociated in aqueous solution to positive ion and negative ion, like just now, sodium positive and then CH3CO negative. Normally, neutral salt form from strong acid with strong base. Cation of a strong acid or strong base do not hydrolyze, meaning that they have no ability to produce a hydrosonium ion or the hydroxide ion. So this is a neutral salt. And then for the acidic salt, it's formed from strong acid weak base. The weak base can produce a strong conjugate acid. So the cation from the weak base, the conjugate acid, hydrolyzed and then produce hydronium ion. That's why it's acidic salt. For basic salt, it's formed from weak acid strong base. It's due to the N ion from the weak acid produce a strong conjugate base. So the N ion from weak acid can hydrolyze. For example, sodium ethanol. Now we are going to look at each type of salt in detail. One, salt that produce neutral solution. N ion from strong acid and then the cation ion from strong base. That's why both of them produce a weak conjugate acid and weak conjugate base which the ion do not ionize with water so this is a neutral salt so for example sodium chloride when they form the sodium cation and then chloride and ion both of them cannot ionize does not ionize in water so sodium chloride salt is a neutral salt with pH equal to 7. normally right i will encourage my student is okay when a salt is given write down the neutralization equation because we can deduce the acid or base that we use based on the salt so this is strong acid strong base meaning that both of them will produce a weak conjugate acid weak conjugate base if the con the n ion or the cat ion from the weak conjugate acid or weak conjugate base meaning that it won't continue with the salt hydrolysis okay it will stop when the salt dissociation from the cat ion and n ion right so it won't continue. So both of the cation and anion does not hydrolyze in water. So we will form a neutral salt with pH equal to 7. Due to these two ions do not hydrolyze in water. And then no problem. there is no formation of hydroxide ion or hydrosonium ion. I should start with neutralization because based on neutralization, right, we can identify whether the solution is strong base or weak base easily because all the hydroxide ion, hydroxide base normally is strong base. And then for the uh, amine, amine type, for example, ammonia hydroxide or ammonia pyridine with the nitrogen is weak base. For here, the so strong acid, this is the common strong acid that we use and then this is the weak acid. So as we know, weak acid can form the strong conjugate base, which can hydrolyze in water. So that's why step one, I will start with neutralization equation. Salt that produce acidic solution. Why is acidic solution? Okay, just so we know, right, acidic solution is formed from strong acid and weak base. 
This is not due to the strong acid, but it's due to the weak base. Because the cation from the weak base can produce a strong conjugate acid. So the cation, the strong conjugate acid, can continue to hydrolyze in water and then to form the hydronium ion. This proves that this is acidic salt. Okay. I prefer you all. Okay. Explain like this. First, write down the neutralization equation from ammonia react with hydrochloric acid and then for ammonium chloride. So this is the weak base. Okay. So we we'll produce a strong conjugate acid. And then this is the strong acid. We we'll produce the weak conjugate base. So the strong conjugate acid will continue with the third equation, which is stop hydrolysis. Always remember for the salt hydrolysis is a reversible equation, a uh, reversible arrow. For neutralization and salt dissociation is one way arrow. Okay. And then chlorine ion does not hydrolyze in water. Okay, therefore the salt solution of ammonium chloride will be acidic because due to the produce of hydrosonium ion pH less than 7. We proceed with the third type, salt, which is basic salt. Okay, so this is the formation of strong base with weak acid. The end ion from the weak acid can form the strong conjugate base. Okay, that's why the strong conjugate base okay can continue hydrolyze and then forms the acid and the hydroxide ion. The hydroxide ion showing that this is a basic salt with pH more than seven. And then the sodium anion is from the strong base which will produce a weak conjugate acid, does not ionize in water. Okay, start with neutralization. This is from the weak acid, ethanol acid, sodium hydroxide from the strong base, and then produce the sodium ethanol salt. Step 2, salt dissociation, 100% ionized from the CH3CO negative, and then Na plus equals ion. So this is a strong conjugate base, will continue hydrolyze, salt hydrolysis, and then form the acid and hydroxide ion. Due to the formation of the hydroxide ion, so this will produce a basic salt with pH more than 7. And then air plus does not hydrolyze in water. Please predict whether the following solution will be acidic, basic, or neutral. First of all, I will identify what type of acid and base for this salt. So for A, between ammonia and uh, iodohydride, uh, HI, so this is weak base, this is strong acid. So weak base, strong acid, this one will produce acidic salt, okay, because due to the ammonium is the conjugate acid of weak base, so can ionize in water to produce H3O+. So this is the salt dissociation equation, and then this is the salt hydrolyzed equation. So it's reversible, so produce the H3O+. And then uh, I is the conjugate base of strong acid, so do not hydrolyze in water. So the conclusion is the solution of ammonia iodide is acidic, so pH is less than 7. Calcium chloride, so it's the reaction between calcium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. Strong base, strong acid, so this is neutral salt. Because the calcium cation is from the strong base, calcium hydroxide. And the chlorine anion is from the... Uh, the, this conjugate base is from the strong acid HCl, so both of them do not hydrolyze in water. So the solution of calcium chloride is neutral because no hydroxide or H plus is produced and pH equal to 7. Potassium cyanide is from strong base KOH and weak acid HCl. So due to HCN is the weak acid, it will produce a strong conjugate base. Okay, the strong conjugate base means as CN negative. Okay, so the CN negative can ionize in water to produce hydroxide ion. So the over here, the first equation is the salt dissociation and then salt hydrolysis. Cyanide ion and conjugate base ionize in water and then produce hydroxide ion. So the production, this pro, um, the hydroxide ion make the solution is basic, pH more than 7. So CN is basic salt. Now we look at tutorial question 12. Write the hydrolysis equation for the following salt and classify them as acidic, basic, or neutral. Okay, if you follow my step, right? I neutralization. 
So sodium hydroxide is strong base and then HCA is the weak acid. So this is the sodium cyanide salt. Okay, so it will undergo salt dissociation from the sodium positive cation, which is a weak conjugate acid, and then CN negative anion, which is the strong conjugate base. So this strong conjugate base will continue with the third equation, salt hydrolysis, and then from the HCN and hydroxide ion. So the hydroxide ion showing that sodium cyanide is a basic salt with this pH more than 7. Okay, so if you notice, right, I, this slide is a pair up. So this is the weak acid. Okay, so this is the conjugate base, strong conjugate base. This one is a strong base. So this is the conjugate acid, so weak conjugate acid. So this one will continue hydrolyze, salt hydrolysis from the uh, hydroxide ion, while the Na plus is a weak conjugate acid, does not hydrolyze in water. Okay, 12B. So this is the salt. It's, a, uh, it's formed from N2H4 react with HCl. So step 2, salt dissociation from the N2H5 positive ion and then Cl negative ion. Okay, so this is a strong conjugate acid. will continue hydrolyze with water to form the H3O plus solution. So Cl negative does not hydrolyze in water. So the, therefore, the salt solution of this salt will be acidic with pH less than 7 because due to the produce of the hydroxonium ion. That's all for this video. Please do remember, subscribe, like and share. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to consult with your lecturers. Stay at home, stay safe. Bye!